Billie Eilish was recently featured on a magazine cover, but she's not happy about it. Before I get into the tea, I just want to put out a disclaimer. Please do not send any hate to Billie Eilish or anyone else mentioned in this story. This video is simply meant to report on the news and give some insight on the situation. Now let's get into the tea. On August 29th, the German edition of Nylon magazine shared the cover of their next issue on Instagram, which featured an illustration of Billie Eilish. The caption of the post read, Digital prodigies, the supernatural fembot faces of the future. We can't keep it in any longer and overexcitedly reveal to you the digital preview of one of our brand new covers. Billie Eilish designed by E-Memories, official print issue and cover story dropping on Friday featuring Billie and more digital prodigies as told by their fans, because they know their leaders best. The artist also shared the cover on his Instagram account. Billie commented on Nylon Germany's Instagram post, What the f*** is this sh 1. I was never approached by Nylon about this piece whatsoever. I did not know what was happening, nor did anyone on my team. 2. This is not even a real picture of me. I had absolutely no creative input. 3. You're gonna make a picture of me shirtless? That's not real? At 17? And make it the cover? Even if the picture was supposed to look like some robot version of me, I did not consent in any way. 4. And you're gonna remove all my hair? Boo to you! Nylon Germany responded to Billy in another comment. To you and your fans. For this cover, it was never our intention to create a look that is confusing or insulting to Billie Eilish. It was only ever our intention to honor Billie's impact and her work by creating this avatar, which is part of a cover series highlighting the power of digital prodigy artists. The avatar is a piece of 3D artwork created in dedication to her achievements and the positive effect she has had on millions around the globe, including us. After Billie spoke out, the magazine and the artist deleted their posts. People had mixed reactions to the issue. A few people supported Billie, saying she didn't consent to her image being used in this way. It doesn't show anything, but it still gives off that illusion about her being naked. We should be looking at this with laws in mind, not age of consent, since she isn't getting intimate with anyone. Her using the word consent also does not have anything to do with the age of consent laws, as most people are looking at them. She used consent in the literal terms of consenting to her image being used. That's it. Others said she didn't look naked, but the cover art was still wrong. The photo, to me, it doesn't look topless or sexual at all. Regardless, they should not have used her image in a way that she did not approve, especially as a some representative, if not her own parents or herself, someone on behalf of her should have to approve of the image. Weird that they thought it would be okay. I don't feel like it's flattering or a good representation of Billy's images. It's a composite image, where they used a photo of her head from like the neck up and digitally added the body, so it's not like they got her consent to take a shirtless picture. No, they took a picture of her and created a shirtless humanoid. It's creepy as f that they would do that to her. Many people said the issue was bigger than nudity, she cares, and that's the only reason it's even a discussion. They took her likeness and created an image that goes against the entire way she has branded herself. If it was just a picture, not attached to anything, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But they rebranded her for their own monetary gain by putting their interpretation of her on the cover of their magazine. This wasn't like a candid paparazzi photo. It was a well thought out and purposefully executed move on their part. The worst part is they said it was to honor her. But if they knew anything about her, they would have known she wouldn't want to be portrayed like that. The bigger issue is that Nylon took it upon themselves to, without permission, publish a magazine cover with Billy on it. She never did that shoot. She never knew about it. And on top of that, she was portrayed as shirtless. That girl easily wears five pounds of clothing daily, so this really made no sense to do. The issue is that Billy and her team were unaware that the piece was even being written about her, and that an image in her likeness was created and used in a way that goes completely opposite of the image she has curated for herself. She has never shown her body, clothed or unclothed, in any way. So she should have been made aware and had the chance to give her input on the matter. Also, she's young, so making something that looks like her and giving the illusion of nakedness is just creepy and completely gross. Several people said they respected Billy for wanting to protect her image. I don't care if you like her or not, you have to respect the girl for her conviction. Lover or hater, you've gotta give it to her. She stands up for herself and what she thinks is right. I love the fact that she just wants to be a teen, a very, very talented teen. And others said they liked the art, but it wasn't okay to do it without talking to Billy first. I mean, it looks kinda cool, but that doesn't justify it. 
I personally thought the cover was pretty cool, but Billy has every right to be pissed if they didn't get her consent. However, many people didn't think Billy was right. Some people felt others were overreacting to the controversy. It's her shoulders. I understand why people want it to be taken down, but it's her effing shoulders. Seriously, can't actually believe some of these comments. She should be happy she's on a magazine cover at the moment before the novelty wears off. She's hardly naked either. They're shoulders for sake. She comes across as a seriously spoiled teen. Untalented, overrated. Um, I googled the magazine cover and expected a scandal. Instead, I'm like, why is this an issue? Are people really calling the image shirtless? You see the tops of her shoulders. It's not even sexual. Who cares? One person said they didn't recognize her. Am I the only one who thinks the image doesn't even look like her? Many people pointed out that according to German law, what Nylon did was legal. Under German law, this image would not be the slightest breach of her sexual self-determination as the legal term is. It doesn't show anything the law would consider nudity, and neither would society. And since Eilish sings about is nearly an adult, in fact, she's definitely not legally a child in Germany anymore, but an adolescent. And since the image can be considered a work of art in its own right, there is absolutely nothing that even touches the laws on it's Billie Eilish who mixes up copyright infringement and moral questions here. But the law does not decide on moral questions. As German Responder explained above, the age of consent is more complex than that. It's still illegal for a 22-year-old to share adult images of someone under 18. Someone said Billy should be grateful for being on a magazine cover. It's a cool artistic rendering. Shirtless seems sensationalized and reaching. Plus, I don't think artists need consent to depict public figures, but don't know the law about profiting from it, as in using the image of a public figure without permission to sell magazines. Would Billy have been okay with it if it was in an artistic style she preferred, depicting her in a way she personally found more flattering? Another person said that by talking about the issue, Billy drew more attention to it. Agreed that Nylon should have reached out to get approval for using her likeness on a magazine cover. That being said, she really pulled a Streisand effect on this one. I never would have seen this cover if she hadn't called it out. The Streisand effect is a phenomenon where, by attempting to censor information, you unintentionally circulate it more widely by drawing attention to it. One person said she was being a hypocrite. So she is a child when people can see her shoulders, but she's grown up when she sings about my dad? I don't think so. And several people made fun of Billy. From the constant dead look of her face, you'd think she didn't have any feelings that could be hurt. I can't stand her, and honestly, her music sucks. She's so desperately trying to be unique and it not working. This is just a PR stunt in an attempt to stay in the spotlight. In a few years' time, she'll be totally washed up and forgotten. Soon after the Nylon Germany cover incident, Billy promoted her Elle magazine cover on her Instagram account. In the interview that went along with the Elle cover, Billy spoke about her image and style. She said people who just focus on what she wears are missing the bigger point about her style. The point is not, hey, let's go shame all these girls for not dressing like Billie Eilish. It makes me mad. I have to wear a big shirt for you to not feel uncomfortable about my boobs. Billie talked about how she wore a tank top when she greeted fans before a show in Nashville, and a photo of her started trending. My boobs were trending on Twitter. At number one, what is that? Every outlet wrote about my boobs. She said her chest has been an issue for her, which is why she covers up. I was recently FaceTiming a close friend of mine who's a dude, and I was wearing a tank top. He was like, ugh, put a shirt on. And I said, I have a shirt on. Someone with smaller boobs could wear a tank top, and I could put on that exact tank top and get shamed because my boobs are big. That's stupid. It's the same shirt. However, she said once she turns 18, she should be able to show her body if she wants. I'm gonna be a woman. I wanna show my body. What if I wanna make a video where I wanna look desirable? But I know it would be a huge thing. I know people will say I've lost all respect for her. On August 28th, Nylon Germany edited the caption on an Instagram post about their digital prodigy cover series addressing Billy's cover. We as Nylon Germany value and stand for artistic freedom, but we also respect the feelings of Billie Eilish and her fandom. We are fans ourselves. Therefore, we decided to remove our second cover of Billie Eilish. For this cover, it was never our intention to create a look that is confusing or insulting to Billie. It was only ever our intention to honor her impact by creating this avatar, which is part of a cover series highlighting the power of digital prodigy artists. The cover's artist, Marcel Constantin Wilkins, also posted a statement to his Instagram story. As an artist, I will always fight for artistic freedom, for exploring yourself and visualize your inner spirit. 
It really breaks my heart that I see myself forced to delete the latest Billie Eilish cover I created for Nylon Germany. That seems to be the end of the situation for now. So, what's the big issue? Publishing laws and consent in Germany and the United States. The laws around publishing images of minors in news media is tricky and not always clear-cut. In the United States, where Billie Eilish lives, the media is not required to get permission to publish the name or image of someone under 18. While there are restrictions on using an image to make someone look like they endorse something, as long as the copyright holder of the image agrees to publish, usually the photographer or the artist, the image can be used. So by United States standards, what Nylon Germany did was completely legal. In Germany, where the magazine is based, things get a little more complicated with the European General Data Protection Regulation and the German Federal Data Protection Act, laws that govern personal data protection. Yvonne Schaefer, a German intellectual property expert, says consent is key under the data protection laws. The problem with this legal basis is, however, that the consenting party has the right to revoke the consent at any time with effect for the future. This may result in the photograph having to be deleted and no longer being permitted to be used. In addition, the GDPR requires detailed information of the data subject for the consent to be effective at all. However, Schaefer says the Art Copyright Act could take precedence. Section 22 of the Act stipulates that portraits may only be distributed or publicly displayed with the consent of the person depicted. Section 23 of the Act governs situations in which, by way of exception, no consent is required, such as photographs of events or if the person is only accidentally included in the photograph. In this instance, based on this interpretation of the law, the magazine would not have been able to publish the artwork of Billy because she never gave her consent to publish her image. That being said, it's difficult to say which data protection law would take precedence and which interpretation would be legally correct. There are a lot of different ways to interpret the situation and which side is correct legally and morally. While it does look like Nylon Germany is most likely legally in the right, they may not be morally in the right. They depicted Billy in a way she didn't want to be portrayed, and they never spoke to her team or her about publishing her image on their cover. And when Billy spoke out, they deleted their post. Nylon Germany may not have needed her permission to publish her image, but the biggest issues Billy seems to have was with the way she was portrayed and how it was done without her consent. Even if nothing comes from Billy speaking up in this particular situation, it's important she continues to do so. By protecting her personal image, she could inspire other girls to take control of their own body. Body image. What do you think about this story? Who do you think is in the right? Let me know in the comments below.